he used to deal. No, there is no past tense in God. I said there is no past tense in God. Yesterday, today, and forever, he makes his wonders to come alive in every life in Jesus' name. Uh, look at look at Psalm 16. I'm reading from verse 11. Thou will show me wonderful. Thou will show me. I, I wanted you to say that for yourself. Uh, you see, those people in Bible days, that's how David killed Goliath. That's how the rod of Moses opened the Red Sea. That's how the rod brought water out of the rock. Because they personalized the promise of God. And the performance came to them. And they didn't say, the Lord will show us. The Lord will show them in the generation to come. Uh, when, uh, after we have gone. No, at this time, the Lord will show me. Say it. The Lord will show me. Thou will show me the path of life. Not the path of death. Not the path of depression, stress, distress. Uh -uh. From tonight, all that is gone. The path of suffering, sickness, all that is gone. The path of regrets and remorse and reproach, uh-uh, that one tonight is gone. Yeah. Thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence, in thy presence. Where are you tonight? In thy presence. I say, where are you tonight? You know, some people come to church and they say, I am under oppression. I am under sickness. I'm under a curse. In God's presence, can there be a curse that will remain? Tell me. In God's presence, can, can there be another power coming from any other place that will abide? No. Change your thoughts. Change your language, your life will come from the bottom of the sea and come to the very top. Yeah. You remember Jonah was right there down deep in the bottom of the sea. But when he said, Salvation is of the Lord, and he said, I will remember and I will put my prayer, I will send my prayer. To his throne, he came from the bottom, he came to the top. You are coming from the bottom. And the fish, even the fish, he couldn't eat him up. You know, the fish just uh, discovered, and look at this, uh, this one will be sweet meat. Your, your body will not be sweet meat in their mouth. And couldn't even hurt him. And Jonah did not have to go for, you know, rehabilitation somewhere. After he came out of that fish, when you live here, you don't need any other rehabilitation. Everything has taken place. And so, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And there are pleasures forevermore. Pleasures forevermore. Pleasures forevermore. Everything good you have missed in the past, pleasures forevermore. A new day has begun for you. New life has come for you. The Lord is blessing you right now. He's turning everything around in your life right now. In Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Look at verse 19 there. It says, repent therefore. Now that repent doesn't mean that, you know, you begin to cry and cry and cry. That's not repentance. Just to change your mind. 
just turn around. You've been looking that this direction, and the direction is not bringing peace of mind. It's not bringing victory in your life. It's not bringing joy in your life. Repent. That just means turn away. You're looking at something that gives you depression, that gives you kind of weakness, kind that gives you like you know, you are almost you are going to die. That gives you unbelief, as if God will never forgive you. Turn away from there and turn this other direction and your forgiveness is guaranteed in Jesus name your salvation is guaranteed in Jesus name and your healing your deliverance and your victory and your dominion guaranteed in Jesus name repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when you come to the Lord he blots out all your sins how many sins? He wipes them out. He cleans them up. And he doesn't even allow the remembrance of those sins anymore. And if you need that, all you need to do is turn around and face the Lord. And you have that in Jesus' name. And also, also, also your sickness, your sickness will be blotted out. All the consequences of sin will be blotted out. Everything you carry about, the bad luck and this and that, everything blotted out tonight in Jesus' name. Then it says, when the times of refreshing, look at that, when the times of refreshing shall come from where? Talk, say it out. When refreshing, you've been dry, you've been sorrowful, it's like famine is going on in your life and in your family. No food to eat. And you look here, they say we're in the same condition too. You've come to the presence of the Lord tonight. Go back home and receive abundance. Because We've come to the presence of the Lord. Everything negative, taken away. Everything oppressive, taken away. Everything that makes us cry and cry and cry, taken away in Jesus' name. Everything that makes you to say, I wonder, I, why this, why this? Everything blotted out tonight in Jesus' name. Because... Because, because, because the times, plural, the times, plural, of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. For you. For me. You got it today. For me. It will come in Jesus' name. Now. When I tell you to stand up, you will stand, don't stand yet, you will stand like you never stood. When I tell you, now pray, open your mouth and ask the Lord, you will pray and you will ask for what you have never asked for. When you stand, you stand not like somebody who is barely living, but almost collapsing, Look up. You stand. Stand right. Stand up. Stand well. And stand with confidence. Stand with joy, knowing that every problem you brought, every sickness you brought, every depression you brought, every negative thing you brought, everything is cleared away from your life now in Jesus' name. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, what are you getting tonight? Why are you here tonight? What's the challenge? What's the problem that you have weighing you down today? Call upon the name of the Lord. With him, nothing shall be impossible. In him, no regret. No remorse.
no loss in his presence no sickness can stand no power can stand you come to the presence of the Lord today the salvation in his presence there's power in his presence there's deliverance in his presence miracle in his presence authority in his presence tell him tell him tell him what seest thou you don't see barrenness anymore you don't see fruitlessness anymore you see well you see salvation you see well you see forgiveness you see well everything good every good thing that you see will come upon your life you see healing you see well it will be performed deliverance and dominion don't you see that you see well it will be performed it will be done I see wonders in your life and if you see those wonders in your life you have seen well you have seen well it will be done No more crying, no more weeping. See well. See the promises performed in your life. See the goodness of God performed in your life. See the glory coming from on high into your life, into your family. You see well. And it will be done. You see great possibilities, you see well, it will be done. You repent of sin, you reject every evil, you turn away from every terrible weakening sinful habit in your life and you say i see forgiveness you see well you see well it will be done it will be done i see god's favor I see God's grace. I see divine ability coming into me so I can do what I've never been able to do before. You see, well, it will be done. No more like a dry rot. Now you're fruitful. Now you are successful. I see well. I see well. Believe it. It is done. Says I put my word in your mouth. giving you the power and the authority root out root it out every plant the heavenly father has not planted in your life root it out 
put it down. Pull it down. The Lord has marked you for progress, for success, for achievement, for joy, for victory, for dominion, for total freedom. Anything standing there before you, pull it down. Destroy it. But Christ in you who has come to destroy all the works of the devil. Destroy that thing. The word is in your mouth. Throw it down. Throw it down. Don't complain anymore. They'll not allow me to succeed. They'll not allow me to make it. You decide, you determine. You'll make it and you will make it. That's what you are to build, to plant. To achieve, to succeed, the word is right there. Whatever you have asked, know that it is done. Whatever you have rooted up, know it is rooted out. Whatever you have pulled down, know it is pulled down. Whatever you have destroyed, every work of the devil, know. It is destroyed. Whatever you have thrown down, no more your body, no more your head, no more your life, no more your family. No, it is done. Healing, done. Deliverance, done. Authority, done. Dominion, done. Fruitfulness, done. Progress, done. Success, done. Health, confirmed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen like never before. The Lord assures you that this night was because of you. And what he does now will not be a common, average, normal, day-to-day -day miracle. Yeah. A special miracle. Yeah. A special healing. Yeah. A special deliverance. Yeah. Something you never saw it in this fashion. 
and as I'm going back home, that miracle, wonder, will be bubbling inside your heart. Joy, joy, your heart will be full of joy. Your Savior, dear, is ever near. That's the reason why, as you go back tonight, like no other night, there will be joy unspeakable in your heart. If you have prayed for forgiveness, the Lord has forgiven you. If you have prayed for restoration, the Lord has restored you. If you have prayed for victory, I don't want to be falling into that, falling into that. The Lord has given you victory. If you have prayed for healing, you are supposed to go for maybe operation or whatever and say, I don't want that. I want to spend the money in another way. I am healed. You are healed. You are healed. They say depression, mental problem is almost flying in the air. And that people, because of what is happening here and there, they have depression, they have, uh, you know, brain, whatever. For you, hearing my voice now, depression is gone in Jesus' name. They say there's a spirit. It's moving about everywhere. It's pushing this one, pushing this one. Kill yourself. Pastor, I'm hearing that kind of voice too. That voice is silenced forever in Jesus' name. You're no more the man you used to be. You're no more the woman you used to be. You're no more the boy, the girl you used to be. Life has come. Abundant life has come. Strong, strong, healthy life has now come. Confirmation in your life. Where are you? I praise God for you. I see somebody that will never remain the same as, as he ever was. As she ever was. I see somebody who was giving up. And I see you standing at the bottom of that ladder. I see you looking up. I will climb again. I failed in the past. Failure is rooted out. I will succeed again. Everybody, raise up that hand. This is a new day for everyone. Father, in Jesus' name. God of love, God of mercy, God of compassion, God of power, Lord. I bring everyone, young and old, men and women, I bring everyone before you now. Receive them in Jesus' name. Every sin of the past, every failure of the past, forgive them, cleanse them, wash them, blot them out in Jesus' name. Sickness, of whatever name, sickness, of whatever description, I command, be healed in Jesus' name. Every work of the devil, every curse, every pain, every recurring sickness, right now, from every life, I root it out in Jesus' name. From your lungs, that sickness is rooted out. From your liver, from your kidney, that sickness is rooted out. 
from your brain, from your blood vessel, that sickness rooted out in Jesus' name. The pain at the neck, the pain at the knee, the pain at the shoulder, rooted out now in Jesus' name. And all kinds of deformity, all kinds of play running in the family, in the family tonight, the night of authority and power. On your life, from your body, all that generational whatever, I root everything out in Jesus' name. Peace in your heart. Peace in your brain. Peace in your system. Peace in your thoughts. And as you go home, you go a different man. A different woman. A different boy. A different girl. The failure is turned inside out. From this moment, success will follow you. Goodness will follow you. Divine energy is injected into you right now in Jesus' name. All those negative, negative, negative things, you couldn't even shake them up. They are protected away from your life. Healing, you've got. Health, you've got. Deliverance, you have got. Dominion, you have got. Provision, you have got. Promotion, you have got. And the desire to live and live and live well. You've got it now in Jesus' name. Go back home with joy. Go back home with satisfaction. Go back home with power. The word is now in your mouth. Any day, any time, you see something you don't appreciate in your life, speak the word, heaven will confirm your word. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. It is done. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name because today you're giving us a kind of triumph, a kind of victory that will make us conquer in a permanent way in Jesus' name. Your word in us, your word in our hearts, in our spirit, in our soul, in our mind, coming out from our mouth will give us victory over every situation in Jesus' name. We're asking, Lord, at this time, the power of the word, the power of the spirit, and the power in the name of Jesus will avail for everyone. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And the victorious people of God said, We're coming to Romans chapter 8. And I'm reading from verse 37. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. The apostle had been talking about 
the love of God. And what keeps us in that love of God? Look at verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And then as he continues, he brings us in. And he says, whatever happens in that love of Christ, whatever happens at the very center of that love of Christ, we are more than conquerors. And then he comes to the final verse of that chapter, verse 39. No height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. It begins that section, that bracket of the love of Christ, and it closes that bracket with the love of God. And at the very center of that passage, it says, we are more than conquerors as we are surrounded and supported by the love of Christ, the love of God. Read everything now, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are all killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. It's talking about the persecution that the early church experienced. And they were driven from city to city. And they were moved from place to place. And they were searching for them as if they were searching for or hunting for animals. But then Paul the Apostle said, in spite of it all, despite everything that you can think about coming against any member of the church, coming against any local church, coming against the body of Christ, it says, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. That's what Paul said. That's what I say. And what do you say? For I am persuaded. And he had the voice of the old house. I said, what did you say? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, no angels, no principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to come, no height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we live our Christian lives, we need to be reminded there will be times of trial. There will be times of persecution. There will be times of temptation. There will be times to find yourself at a crossroad. Where do I turn to? Where do I go? To the right or to the left? Or do I go on in a straight course at such a crossroad? In times when you are perplexed, in times when there may be confusion, the Lord wants you to remember that with his love upon your life and his love within your heart, whatever happens, whoever is against you, whatever the temptation, Whoever the tempter or the temptress may be, you'll be more than a conqueror. Because he gives us triumph at the cross. He bought that triumph for us with his word 
He has given us the promise of that triumph. And by his spirit, he transfers that victory, that overcoming spirit, that triumph, transfers that to every heart. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. As we look at that verse, it talks about triumph. And it says, we're giving thanks to God. It's not in our strength. It's not in our power. The weakest of the saints of God, the smallest of the children of God, can have triumph because it says the source, the secret of that triumph is God himself. And he gives that triumph and he gives the victory and he gives that overcoming power to all his children, all the heirs of the kingdom. And so he could say now, at this time, when he said now, he was looking at all the things that had happened since he became a Christian, since he became a child of God, and since he became an heir of the kingdom. And then he's looking at all the Corinthian believers. He's looking at what they had passed through in their community, in their country, and with the alien nations around them. And now he said, in it all, and through it all, thanks be unto God, which always, not sometimes, whatever the challenge, always, whatever the confrontation, always, whatever the power that may wage war against your life, we are conquerors always, I may conquer always. I said I am a conqueror always. He says, always causes us to triumph. Always makes us to triumph. He gives the power. He gives the enablement. He gives the strength. And he makes us to triumph every time in Christ. Salvation, we have that in Christ. Sanctification, we have that in Christ. Peace and purity, we have that in Christ. And Holy Ghost power, we have that in Christ. And the courage and the backbone to stand, we have that in Christ. And it says, once we remain in Christ, it causes us to triumph in Christ. And it maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us. In how many places? I said, in how many places? In every place, every place you find yourself, the rest of this year and the rest of your Christian life, you will triumph in Jesus' name. <laughs> Look at First John chapter 4. Receive for that triumph and the receive for that power and the receive for overcoming. First John chapter 4 verse 4. Ye of God, little children. Are you born again? Ye of God, little children. Have you moved on in consecration and sanctification? Ye of God, little children. And after being saved, sanctified, purified, crucified with Christ.